Hello all and welcome to Red Solstice 2 Survivors, of course, Game Operator and Narrator Soul. Welcome to uh, the month of Halloween. I think this uh, this video will probably roll out, ooh, probably about a day or two earlier than what October is going to start as. But I kind of figured that, hey, you know what? Uh, I think this year we're going to try and do something a little bit different. Uh, well, a little bit different, he says. We're going to try and do something fun for the month of Halloween. We'll see if we can sit down and maybe do a week of random survivor horror games you know for uh the spooky month whether or not this actually goes as, as planned well that's an entirely different story <laughs> but i digress uh red solstice 2 is a mm, how do how do how do how to properly put this it's a top-down tactics uh squad tactics survival game not turn-based like what, say, XCOM 2 would be. Um, but it, uh, it does allow you to give commands and take over a squad of Marines as you move through a hostile environment and gives you active uh, side missions as you complete these quests. You'll be facing off against aliens uh, and other factions too on the map and struggling to actually keep a planet from falling into... Uh, what's the word for it? Hell! <laughs> I think that's the right word for it. Is it, is it hell? Ah, uh, but anyways, I digress again. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a new campaign. Uh, we have choices to make. We can do Elysium Corporation, Howl Barracks, Condats Group, Insurgents, or the Mercs. And as you can see, they have their skull rating for everything up above. Uh, and yes, I do have all the DLC available. As sh I should actually note that this game, uh, Red Solstice 2 Survivors, is actually currently on sale on Steam. For about 18 Canuck bucks. So if you're interested and you think this might be something you might want to try out, by all means, you can. This is also multiplayer too, so just keep that in mind. So if you and a bunch of friends want to do something a little bit different, this game is available for that one. So, uh, it's been quite some time since I've played. Uh, this game was released back in 2021, so it's been, it's been a few years. Uh... I think everyone can guess what I spent a lot of my time with during those mysterious four years <laughs> around that 2019-2022 today <laughs> doing. I was never very good at it, but hey, it was fun. So all we're going to do is we're actually going to grab uh, Elysium Corporation. Um, just because, well, right now it's the easiest way to get into it. Yeah. So, Elysian Corporation, uh, the leading Martian corporation excelling in technological research. Numerous scientific outbreaks provided the company with a military edge only a few other corporations can match. Elysium had a massive influence on Martian society, but centralized most of its assets in the Tharsis colony. Elysium had total domination in operational combat suit troops, which were primarily stationed at Tharsis and GED Elf Alpida. Alpida? I don't, I don't think the H is silent. An unofficial number suggests the combat suit number at around 600. After the Tharsis, cast uh, cast cast after the Tharsis catastrophe, the company found itself with a parish leadership and assets widespread across the planet. Currently, current Elysium status is unknown, but it's believed that the company is falling in demise since the majority of their combat suit's assets fell defending Tharsis, which was ultimately destroyed by Solar. We're going to go ahead and do this one. So we're going to do normal difficulty. We're going to start with the tutorial uh, just so I can get my uh, feet back under me again. And away we go. Each time night falls, we see a bright light in the Martian sky. It is not a star. It is a planet we used to call home. Earth was devastated by mutants two centuries ago. Our dream has always been to take it back. A dream that turned into a nightmare. Oh God. We found you. Commands, do you copy? Acknowledge. New objective is to secure the perimeter. We're unable to secure. Target eliminated. We're being overrun. Put your ground damage. In the ceiling! Command, this is unit A. I'm the only one left. I need backup. Executor unit activated. Initiating recovery process. All right. 
Uh, so, space to focus on your character? Alright, cool. Alright, so we have a tutorial. RTS controls are default. So, use the mouse to move and to select targets, similar to RDS style. We got WAST movement. I can get that one. Let's do WAST. Yes, there we go. Overwatch. That's the map. J is Overwatch. As you can see, if we use our Overwatch abilities, they automatically fire at any enemies coming into our range. Welcome back, Executor. I'm Emma, an artificial intelligence program in the service of the Founders. Cool. I will continuously update your map with markers and plot a course to rendezvous with a nearby Marine team pinned near the helipad. Okay, so one thing that is you should keep in mind, sorry, uh, abilities take energies. That's the blue bar right above our head or the blue bar down here. So if I actually set up and go and hit J for Overwatch, that actually partitions a section of our uh, uh, energy, sorry. So that way it stays operational. I can also manually aim with the right control, which is probably about the nicest way to move around, all things considered. And aiming, aiming. <laughs> Are you kidding me? How did I get stuck here? Ay, 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 ay. All right, uh, I guess we're back now. Uh, yeah, that required a little bit of reset. I don't know why we got stuck on the train, but uh, that is apparently a thing. So we'll keep that in mind. Uh, other things that are important. Yes, A does lock and unlock the camera movements. But uh, if we're going to go into manual mode, then it's very important to remember Watch your corners, which is why uh, Overwatch is so good. However, this game actually requires you to watch your ammo count. As you can see, I have eight rounds left of my gun. If I were to reload, I would lose those eight rounds. So it's actually very, very important to make sure that I maintain my ammo. Oh, I have to do this, I think. So there's a rotation there, and how about B? Rotating the camera. Uh, I think... Yes, yes, F is melee. There we go. Alright, where are you? Tab displays the map. So this will give us an idea of where we were at inside the uh, the current map. We can see we're here. Target's there. We do have to eventually get over here to the helipad. Oh, oh! A little glitchy. I don't remember the game being like that. Thinking that was kind of a blind spot, so I'm not too surprised. So E is actually interact with environment. What we did was just picked up some more ammunition, which is good. We could certainly use it. Present Marines are considered expendable. Continue advancing forward. Oh. They're just coming out of the terrain now. Hey. And there's an explosive barrel, so don't shoot that.
And yes, F is your melee. Okay. They're open. Watch your corners. Yeah, we got some energy ammo. So control Q. Aiming. And use our items. Well, control plus whatever slot the item is located here in your item belt will allow you to equip that item. So we got 15 special rounds right now. We also have some skills. We can go ahead and give ourselves some perk upgrades if we wanted to. We can equip a nitrogen upgrade. Yeah, nitrogen grenades, which is great. It allows us to throw grenades, which is going to be wildly beneficial. All right, carrying on. Stimulants, don't mind if I do. And anti-venom, just in case we need it. And if need be, P will show the tutorial overlay for everything. So top left is your main method monitoring the situation, the wide area around you, so that's your mini-map. Uh, top center, inform information about the current monster wave and when it arrives. Really important stuff to organize around it. Uh, top right, your fellow squads are here. I'll show the status effects, amount of ammo, and basic information. And of course, bottom information is all the bars that we can see here. Uh, hello? That's a wall. Well, I can already tell we got customers. Yeah, big boy's a little harder to hit. Yeah, we got more trying to knock down the door here. sketch but not too bad hey you back up and again we got guys trying to get to the door shall I meet and greet them Reloading. Reloading. always easier to switch to your sidearm or your sword than it is to reload Hey, big boy, that's a lot of explosives around you. Okay, so that set that area on fire. That's good. Reloading, cover me. Hmm. A little stubborn there. Didn't want to go down. Easy. Here, supply room. Ooh, supply room indeed. Like primary, secondary ammunition. So our secondary is actually a flamethrower. I can switch to it by using Q. Unlike the uh, main weapon, the secondary weapon does not allow you to use J to Overwatch. It's a manually aimed weapon only. So good to know. Um, now as far as secondary weapon uh, ammo goes, can I actually just keep on adding that so that'll be control S. I can! let oh, freed up some inventory space.
Extreme caution is advised, as the complex is now overrun by hostile mutants. I've updated your map with a suitable extraction area. So yeah, flamethrower is pretty nice. Uh, side effect, it sets the floor on fire, so you don't want to walk through it. But if you need to do area denial, you can put fire down. Cross an entire area. And switch back to your primary, and away you go. Additionally, you can see that there's a number there right above my guy that says 16% critical. That is a critical hit chance that increases the longer we stay in aiming mode. So if I release it and go back, it starts to slowly build up. 1, 2%, 5%, 9%, 16%. Whenever you're moving, it's probably always a good idea. Kind of move with your gun out. Upon death, one of your skills will break. It can be repaired over time with a power cell. That's good to know. Uh, more stims. Reloading. Oh, crap. Reloading. Okay. Crisis averted. Ooh, don't get too close to that barrel. So additionally, there's uh, environmental benefits you can get too. So if you, say, go right next to some cover or half cover, you can actually take a take a knee and get increased defenses from it. So whenever you see these half walls or, or cover in general, it's always a good idea to use. Don't think so, bud. Got another? Well, we do. Reloading, cover me. Reloading, cover me. Well, I screwed up on the explosion timing. Whoop. But it's all good. We're still in it. Still in it. Aiming. What's in the basic locker? Primary ammo I will take. Now, what do we got here? More stims? We do. We do have some more skill level up we can go ahead and do. Um, I give myself a heal option, which I think is probably not a bad idea. A little bit of a cooldown on it, though. Same with the grenade, I believe. Aiming. Eh, nothing can be too crazy. Yeah, most important thing in this game is remember to watch your corners. They will surprise you if they get the chance. A little more primary ammo, don't mind if I do. Tracker is picking up a lot of movement. Get ready for a fight. Chances for survival will drastically increase if you set up the explosive turret. I recommend you do that now. Place the turret in the location I have designated to maximize its efficiency. Incoming! For the Founders! Aiming. 
I'm gonna switch to my flamethrower here real quick. Area denial. Sure, it's doing good work. Uh, that energy strike kind of sucked, though. Okay, we'll not stand there. Attention, all units. The solar weapons system has been activated. Ah, oh, hell. That's right on top of us. Executor, be advised. Your implants are needed for the solar mainframe protocols. Extraction is aborted. Proceed to the communications array. You're joking, right? Stole that crap. We knew this would be a suicide run. Executor, we have your back. Explosives are required for the most suitable route to the solar control room. I have marked the nearest explosive material. Right on the helipad. All right. Well, this is a one-way trip. It's a one-way trip. Let's get to work. So now we do have a squad with us. We have an engineer, terminator, and another marine. So this is actually not too bad. Uh, this is for a satchel, I believe. Private. Stay back. Watch out for the explosive radius. Yes, sir. Aiming. Uh, what is the trigger? Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, detonate is G. I picked that back up. Nope. Well. Was that Control J? Then it's last placed. Can't pick it back up. All right, Marines. Uh, sorry, guys. Ha uh -huh. I'm the best at what I do. We'll cover you, Executor. The facility in all of Tharsis is lost. There's nothing more to save here. I ask only one thing. Send all these moon freaks to hell. Reloading, cover me. Oh, I killed everybody. I can't believe that. <laughs> ah, fitting. Fitting for a Souls game. That's just, oh man. Uh, I don't have first aid kits, do I? Get out of here. No, no first aid kits. So normally, uh, if your Marines do go down, you can go ahead and re, uh, bring them back up on their feet with first aid kits. Or resuscitation kits. Uh, as you can see, I wasn't supposed to kill my friends, but I did. Not that, but I'm actually out of statues, so that kind of sucks. Uh, what do we got here? Savage burners. So some items themselves are actually not uh, consumables. You can just have them in the inventory and they give you additional bonuses. Um, so this one increases combat capabilities and converts damage to destructive. Increases critical chance of damage. Not bad. Not bad. All right, carrying on to the rest of the tutorial. Get hooked up to the solar control here. And no, no, there was no friendly fire. They died in glorious combat. All right, so now I get to pull the trigger. <laughs> 
The region is Tharsis. Regional status infestation is almost max. Intel is very low. Global population is 90 million. Uh, global infest is 31 million. Ew. Consequence of usage. We're going to wind up killing about 4.2 million people and about 13 million infested. Well, worth it. And there we go. Executor contributed to the activation of Solar. But even if we did, it wouldn't change much. We are the founders, and you are the Executor. A high-class commanding officer with advanced cybernetic capabilities. Your origin is irrelevant. Your mission is not. You were awakened to lead a secret task force that will counter the threat of Stroll mutants. A powerful landship will serve as the base of your activities. It is a mobile castle from which you will liberate Mars. Lead your operatives, research your enemy, and develop your own capabilities. We are always watching your progress. So there you go. Uh, we pulled the trigger that destroyed Tharsis. The terraformer's gone. Colony's gone. One month after the destruction of Tharsis. So, Executor's orders. Executor, you've been brought back online in order to defeat the Stroll virus by any means necessary. Our intelligence reports that the Stroll virus is slowly infesting the entire Martian surface and human populace. Complete contamin uh, containment of the Stroll virus cannot be achieved. All you can do is delay the infestation until a permanent solution can be achieved. Your orders are as follows. Find a way to permanently stop the Stroll virus. Pick and choose your missions as you can't save everyone. Closely monitor your resources as they are getting scarce and keep infestation levels low. Otherwise, missions will become extremely difficult. Research and develop new technologies to gain an edge over the Stroll mutations. Uh, manufacture single-use items for combat deployments to gain an advantage. Build up your Marine and Black Ops forces to combat the virus on all fronts. Establish an intelligence network within each region and use this information to prevent colonies from falling. And pay attention to regions with terraformers. If a terraformer is overrun, it will rapidly spread infestation everywhere and has to be destroyed. However, that will increase red storms. So the Elysium Corporation, founders, and all of humanity is counting on you, Executor. So, right off the bat, we want to keep an eye out for our terraformers. If they fall, we are screwed. It's going to really ramp up things and are not in our favor. Um... Emergency extraction, initiate drops, dropship scans of current region, complete emergency extraction, inspect soldiers in armory. Gotcha. Executor, welcome to the land ship. This will be your base of operations from now on. All research and development projects will take place on it. Cool. The Solar is an orbital weapons platform built upon the surface of Phobos. This was the first combat firing, which inadvertently destroyed all Mars communication infrastructure. Whoops. <laughs> the world map allows you to access and dedicate yourself to specific combat deployments while making strategic decisions such as building, scanning, and expanding regional influence. All right. 
So, top left is our resources. We have supplies. Uh, I believe that is... Did I break it down? Yeah, supplies. Deployment points. And specialists. So these are non-combat people. Uh, we can use specialists for random things. We can also train them to be soldiers, but if we train a specialist to be a soldier, we lose that specialist. Gotcha. Global intelligence right now is at zero, which we really need to bring up. Strategy bar. Uh, shows us our dropship, super weapons, or HQ. So obviously we don't have the super weapon. <laughs> we kind of broke it. <laughs> Oops. Uh, we also have access to the armory, world map, facilities, archives, and profile. We also have a current uh, task list. And the world clock. Gotcha. Infestation is a global infestation level. So obviously we want to try and keep that as low as possible. We're not going to be keeping it at zero, obviously. But uh, allowing this number to get too high will trigger a doomsday timer of two weeks. If you fail to lower global infestation before those two weeks have passed, you will fail your campaign. Good to know. All right, then we have basic camera control. Drag around the left mouse button to have a look around. Uh, there's quite a few things here to do on uh, on the surface of Mars. That's good. That's good. Arsis. Uh, Red Storm. Old decay intelligence over time in the region. That's good to know. He's also left that as a great big old crater. Well, initiate a uh, dropship scan of current region. So we'll go ahead and scan for some intel. This is Laura Feeling of the MCC. Unknown forces have destroyed Tharses. Many suspect Elysium itself, but some claim Strahl has arrived on Mars. So far, all these... Whoops. All right, so we do have an emergency extraction come up. Uh, cell soldiers dropship have crashed are in need of immediate extraction. So we get three followers here. So this is how we're going to get our first crew together. Uh, right off the bat, it's going to cost us 10 deployment points. Well, that's good. That's good. Uh, we're going to travel to the mission here and kick it off. It's going to take about three hours, almost four hours to get there. It does kind of give you an idea of what kind of waves you're looking at. Uh, severity of the waves you're looking at. So wave one is going to be pretty heavy. Two, not so much, and wave three is going to be pretty heavy as well. Uh, we're looking at desecrators and zombies. This is a short mission with friendly troops on board. Let's go ahead and do it. Executor, a dropship has crashed on the outskirts of a nearby colony. It was transporting our top stroll examiner on board. An SOS transponder was sent. Rescue operation initiated. All right. So this is where we're going to set up our missions by choosing how you want to play that mission. Uh, you can get a general idea of the mission's base difficulty. The top left, the red skulls. Uh, this is our difficulty level. We're going to leave it at normal. How quick we want the horde to arrive. We want any of the artillery support. Logistics would be any sort of items we're going to bring with us on the mission. Uh, enemy stats. And the tutorial mission graph right off the bat. So as you can see here, like I said, I played this for a fair bit uh, way back in the day, but I'm pretty rusty. Ah, uh, so there is actually, if I remember correctly, uh, there is actually going to be meta progress. But I don't think we have access to the meta progress as of yet. Oh, we do. I'm going to reset the skill tree. Uh, I'm going to reset all. There we go. So we're going to go into this one brand new, and then I'll start worrying about points here maybe in the next mission. But for now, we're just going to do this uh, as is. Seems a little unfair, but... Uh, well. Iron points, and away we go. Right now, we have 64 skill points we could actually play with. And we'll play with them in a little bit later. Uh, go to the armory. Go to our loadout. Allows you and your soldiers to gear up before each combat deployment. So you can see here, uh, we have the type of class selection that we're going to be going. Uh, we're going to be going as an assault. We're going to change our colors and everything else like that if we want to customize them. Uh, we also use our weapons, so primary and secondary. And of course, our uh, additional support items and um, bonuses, I guess you could say, on the right hand side. 
Now, it's very important to keep in mind, too, that uh, we have certain pips that we have to stay under in order to actually equip certain items. Uh, we'll go ahead and show you guys a little bit more in depth on how that works here. The uh, power bar is very important. Again, if we have too much special abilities that uh, run our power dry, we can't use them, and they're no good to anyone. Attributes on the left-hand side, very good to know. Uh, save and load setups. So we'll, if we make something we like, we can go ahead and save it and copy past it throughout the rest of the squad. So as I was saying, um, we can increase our suit power uh, by one point with a power core. If we pull this, you can see we actually lose uh, a couple of these pips. Energy blade requires two and stimulants requires two. Um, critical strike requires two bars on our offense. Grenade costs two bars. Buckshot, which is fires a lethal energy based buckshot like substance at a target direction. That requires two bars. And adaptive systems. Uh, setting your door inside a building with your window will automatically grant you barricade buff. So if you want to post up, get uh, defense bonuses by actually using your environment, this is actually a very nice thing to have. Uh, support skills, what do we got? We got revive stick. So again, uh, this is how you get guys back up to the ground, which we totally didn't really need because I totally didn't blow up my squad in the tutorial mission. And power cores again, just increase our suit power. As you can see there, we've starting to exceed our power limit. So now we need more batteries. Additionally, you actually get medals um, as you complete missions. So you can go ahead and add those as you want. Hey. All right, sorry. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and add uh, power core. Yeah, they'll take care of a little bit here. Um, there, now we're back up to where we need to be. Offense for adaptive system will keep that. I do want my energy blade though. Uh, maybe we'll get rid of the buckshot. Uh, nope. Energy blade we do have. And we'll keep buckshot for offensive. Uh, defensive. Anything fancy? Not really. So as for our weapons, we have Gar. We also have a pistol. What is that? A Crusader? Crusader is made up from a police riot shield and militarized, ele militarized electric baton that is capable of cha chaining electric attacks. Hmm. Cool. Fires a primary extender. I do not have enough room to actually bring this. There's also the Rivnik, which is heavy weapons. Hmm. Blast is a personal defense weapon for engineers. The Rivnik fires high, highly pressurized long steel rods that are capable of piercing infantry or vehicle crews through their armor and directly wounding the individual. Oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> so it's kinetic. That is plus three suppression. And dealing damage that breaks armor will not apply the remaining damage to health. Hmm. That's a shame. For every empty primary weapon slot, weapon stats are increased, armor damage multiplier increased, and 2% chance per projectile to shred armor is added. Ah, uses a lot of ammunition. Cannot increase critical strike multiplier. That is very nice. Interesting. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go with classic Gar. Because I think this one does a little bit more damage. Uh, damage for this one is 55. The Gar is 50. I think everything else is the exact same. So we've got the classic Gar. This is a light weapon. And we also have an automatic shotgun or a Cerberus, which is... Uh, this looks like to be a very small two blast shotgun, double barrel. We'll keep the automatic shotgun. No vehicle? We have no vehicle open. All right. So I guess for right now, we'll just get right into it. Unfilled slots. Three in defense, one on offense. 
All right. Unfilled slots. What can we put in here? Let's do plating. Kinetic resistance plus 10%. Why not? Uh, new another power core. Uh, that requires a lot of power here. Okay. Uh, huh. We'll lose the buckshot again here again. I guess. Do. Hmm. Primary capacity so I can hold more rounds and the stabilizer system. Yeah, that does exceed our power. Yeah, power limit exceeded. I can put another battery in, can't I? Speeds down. Not too bad, though. All right, let's kick it out. All right, so we do have a mission to go ahead and rescue some soldiers here. Where are they at? And they just popped up. Okay. Executor, a transponder is close by. I am marking it on your map. Eh, incendiary explosives, don't mind if I do. I don't know what that did. now. Easy now. Warning. Mutant horde approaching. Executor? Did you come for us? Oh, wow. I... I'm sorry, sir. Lena Todd, reporting for duty, sir. He's got to be reloading here shortly. Executor, my knight in shining armor. Oh, uh, sorry, sir. Reloading. Anyway. The rest of my team should be alive, I hope. I'll send you their transponder codes. Transponder codes received. All right, well, let's gear up before we move anywhere. What do we got here? Seismic resonator. And a med kit. That's what we're looking for. Before we go anywhere else, let's make sure we get our grenades. Get some critical strike and stimulants on the board. Come on, Todd. Keep up. Oh, that's a lot of red. Reloading. 
Alright. Engaging. And the seismic resonator. Let's figure out what that does. Reloading. Uh, yeah, we're going to just reload on two rounds left here. It's not that big of a waste. All right. Target's front and center. No big. Still have some trailing behind us. What else we got here? Oh, big boy. Reloading, cover me. Everybody bows to a grenade. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> so one other thing. Some enemies will drop these little uh, stroll samples. If we can collect these, it'd give us bonuses for the map as well. So it's always nice to try and grab whenever you can. Okay, so not that area. Reloading, cover me. Right on down here, though. Pick that up. I see you're still alive, Lena. Yes, Lark. And look, the executor himself came to save us. Executor, Corporal Lark Terrace reporting in. And Private Bob Seeker. Kenneth Bob, welcome back. I am detecting more hostiles approaching. Alright, so far so good. Just 45 seconds to hold position here. Invisible! Invisible! Stealth dogs. Not cool, man. Point marked on map. Oh, here comes a big wave. Reloading. Okay, maybe it's time to move. Moving is good. Where are we going? Right back to our start point. All right. Reloading, gonna lose four rounds here, but reloading now is a good idea. Come on, squad, let's go. Now, normally you can sit around and poke away at um, doing exploration and getting side quests and everything else like that on the maps as you're doing missions. On this note, because this is the first one, not really much to do here, so we're going to go ahead and kick off our tutorial and wrap it up and make sure we have our squad we can take back with us. So yeah, we need to go all the way back down here. 
Come on, everybody, run. Run for evac. I think this is where we get off the main highway. You bet it is. Now we'll stay up. Stay high up, and away we go. Evac points found. All right, let's get out of here. Oh no! The morals are back coming. Uh, I gotta hold out. Okay. Right. It's about to get heavy. Uh, trying to break him behind us too. Reloading. Aiming. Still good. Reloading. Cover me. That's enough of that. Is ready. Please go to the nearest extraction point. Everybody out. And there we go. Not too bad. Executor, your actions on the battlefield have increased troop morale. However, from this point forward, consider all Marines expendable. That's good to know. All right, so now... Personnel were recruited selectively from well-known military establishments. They have all passed special mental training, which means that they will all give you undying loyalty. Mental training, they say, yeah. So here in the armory is where we can kit everybody out. Uh, so we have overview, loadout, soldiers, weapon workbench, garage. Uh, so this is the current squad we have. We have myself as an assault, a marksman, a medic, and a recon. So that's not too bad. Uh, if we go to the weapons workbench, we can tweak our uh, current rifle setup. By adding uh, weapon modifications, which are pretty nice. Scopes, stock mods... All this fun stuff we get to go ahead and research. We also get access to the garage. We just have to unlock the vehicles, which we don't have access to that yet. So, yay. <laughs> but so far, that's pretty much it. Like The goal, again, is going to be to slowly take back Mars and uh, remove or restrict the stroll virus from spreading until we find a solution for it. Uh, we can go ahead to facilities here. We can start choosing our research. Uh, researching is easy, simple. Simply start a research and go back to the world map to progress time. So research can cost supplies and will always take time. The more available specialists you have, the quicker research will be completed. You only research one thing at a time. Start a new research for pause your current one and start a new one. So yeah, let's talk a little bit about the tutorial then, shall we? Oh, wait, there isn't one. We just went through it. <laughs> so for infrastructure... Um, this gives us access to communication systems and landship support. Uh, vehicle modifications. Enables the garage where you can modify your vehicles, which is kind of nice. Arsenal production. Allows us to get access to breach shotguns, submachine guns, salamanders. Advanced arsenal and advanced subsystems for additional research. And pathogen mutation. Uh, this one gives us access to... We have a section. We just have to start capturing creatures, that's all. And that is something that we have to, I believe, unlock through arsenals. Upgrading the cages and nets and whatnot where we can capture and contain some of these stroll mutants. Yeah, so, fun stuff. For now, I think what we're going to do is we are going to focus on 
Arsenal production. Just for now. Of course, we don't have any engineering or upgrades to do. But then again, we just started. So, one thing at a time. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, that's all about all the time we have for today. Uh, we'll go ahead and do some kidding out before the next mission here. Spend a little time in the armory and tweaking and customizing everybody the way we want them to. But for now, we are out of time. So if you liked the episode, by all means, please don't forget to hit that like button if you're interested in this game at all. As I mentioned earlier, this game is available on Steam right now until October 3rd for 18 Canuck Bucks. So it's not exactly too steep of an entry point if you're interested. And like I said, uh, you can actually play multiplayer between yourself and up to three other friends. So you don't have to drop missions alone. All right, everybody. By all means, please enjoy the spooky month responsibly. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, all.